Next examples, we're going to draw an octagon with sides 72 and centered on the origin. I've created a new component by right-clicking sketches, clicking new component, and I've renamed it by clicking and clicking again. I'm going to start a new sketch, and to quickly do that, I can just select my line tool, and I'm going to use the X and Y plane. An octagon has eight sides, so I'm going to not carefully draw eight sides and make sure that they connect. The constraint that I'm going to look at is the equal constraint. I'm going to make every side equal. By selecting one and the next, all of my sides should be equal now. And I need to be careful my shape must look somewhat like an octagon. I'm going to use my D key and I'm going to place an angular measurement. This should be 135. Four of our angles, we get an octagon. I'm going to select this line and make it horizontal to straighten out my octagon. The next tool is the D dimension. And this is going to be 72. And I'm gonna zoom out with F6. I'm going to use my line tool to find my center. And there's a couple ways we can do this. I'm gonna find the midpoint of one of my sides and snap it to the midpoint of another side. I'm going to hover over that line I just made, find the midpoint, and drag it to the next midpoint. Again, I want these to be construction lines, so I'll use X. And I need to find this particular center here, so when I hit coincident, I can select this center and that. The last shape that we're going to do is a hexagon inscribed within a 22 millimeter radius circle. We're also going to center that on the origin. The easiest way to start this is to use your C or circle command and we'll select that XY plane. I'm going to click the center or draw my circle anywhere. So for now, I need this to be a 22 millimeter radius circle. So there's a couple things we can do, but right now it's asking Mary for a diameter. So I'm gonna enter 44. I'm gonna lock that dimension and press enter. So now this is a 44 millimeter diameter circle. I'm gonna coincident the center to the origin and that circle is in place. And I'm also going to turn it into a construction line. Move that dimension out so it's out of the way. I'm going to draw six lines, and they're all going to touch the edges of this circle. Right now they're all connected and they're touching the outer edges. Make them all equal again. I have a horizontal constraint. I'm going to delete that using the delete key. Now I'm going to go around and make sure all of my sides are equal. Right now I have a hexagon. I don't need to do any angular adjustments. If I'd like to make one of my sides now horizontal vertical, I can. And that's fully constrained. I don't even need to know my measurements.